This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and behind me here you see Frankenstein, the leaf, and then an ID3. They've been sitting here, parked in front of the house for over a week, and it's been quite cold, roughly around minus 12 degrees Celsius at night, and even in the daytime, minus 10. So I want to see, is the leaf alive? And what about the ID3? I'm going to try to do a, a preheating test. How fast do they heat up? How much battery we use? And so on. So, yeah, let's uh, start with the leaf first. Let's see. So, let's double check here. I have the key fob here. Uh, is the 12 volt battery dead now? Hold. Oh, oh, shit. Um, wait, it unlocks. What? Look, 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 look. Uh, can you see that? Huh? Even after one week of... Oh, shit! Oh, okay. Get in here. Okay, let me... Let me I have to hook up the uh, OBD first. Okay, see. Fire. It fires up! No problem with 12 volt. Okay, H back it off. Low outside temperature. Well, where, where is the outside temperature? Oh, there, there, see? Minus 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, do we have any data here? Oh, this one is not. You usually have to click there and then there. What is the Oh, shit! Minus 11, no, minus 10 degrees. <laughs> uh, can the car even drive? Uh, is it, how much do we have here? We have git. Okay, git. What the heck, git? 50%. But no, hey, wait. Wait. No, no, no. Uh, state of charge. Uh, there, there, there. 76% state of charge. Well, can we, can we put the car in drive? We can. Can we go forward? We can! No problem! No problem! The sun has left the chat! <laughs> Shit! Okay, okay, okay. So the car is alive. That's good. That's good. 12 volt is probably being charged now. Yeah, yeah. So what? No problem at all. What the heck? What's up with all that? Okay, let's check out the ID3 then. Wow, the charge... Okay, oops. The plug has been in here for the longest time. Uh, maybe I should clear up this one before I close it. Yeah, kind of like this. I think that's good enough. Okay. All right, let's see. Put in the map. Oh. Easy charging stations. I love them. Also, yeah, and also Metron cables. Yeah, maybe I should put the cover on here uh, so it doesn't uh, freeze over. <coughs> see that like? Yeah, now it's good. Okay. So this is 10 meter Metron. Okay, let me see. How is it over here? Oh <laughs> shit! Oof. Oh damn! Maybe maybe. I should have used the leaf blower, but this looks more dramatic. You see, never rip open the door like this because then you get freaking snow all over the place. Oh shit, and then it melts and, oh shit, okay, okay. Let's see, here also I have to hook up the OBD. Oh, okay, here, see, I'm gonna get rid of the snow. Mm, okay. Okay, here we see your stats. Yeah, it was at 100%. I was deep fiddling around. I had to set up a uh, car scanner for uh, ID3. So yeah. Look at that, minus 12 degrees Celsius in the battery. <laughs> okay, we have some numbers here ready. I think this is supposed to be the energy content. Hmm, 49.7 kilowatt hour. Wait, really? What? Aren't we supposed to get around 50, 56 kilowatt hour? Okay, I need to do the degradation test, but okay. Let's um, start the heater. Uh, I, will, I will have to start on the um, uh, Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein over there, yeah. Both cars, and then we see how long it takes to heat up. But I'll be sitting in this one. All right, the heater in both cars are running right now. Oh, look at this six kilo. Right, can you see anything here? Okay, heater's on. I just put in auto 21 degrees in both cars. Let me see if I go to vehicle and if we go to charging, can we see any power consumption? You know, it doesn't show kilowatt hour per hour. Yeah, okay, when not when we are staying. Okay, but look at it. Okay, oh, I need to record. I almost forgot. I need to record this one. Zoop. Okay, let's see then. <laughs> Six kilowatt for heater. Okay, that's good. That's good. Wait, but is can you guys hear that? There's no humming. I suspect that the heat pump is not running right now. It's running PTC heater, and it's also instant. But maybe the heat pump will run. We'll listen for humming. But okay, this is good that it uh, fires up the PTC heater because it heats up quickly. And then yeah, uh, but I will not run any seat heater. But also, it's a slight uh, advantage for me sitting in here because I'm, you know, I heard that a human body is generating around 80 watts of power uh, or heat power. Uh, so, versus the leaf. Yeah, so already there, we are cheating a little bit, but 
Come on, it's false market. <laughs> okay, let's just see now. Yeah, nine kilowatt for heating. Oh shit! <laughs> Are we getting some heat in here? Oh, I I can feel it's getting a little bit. Well, I should have brought the thermal camera, but whatever, whatever. Um, we're getting some heat in here. All right. Let's see how quickly we drain the battery now. And then how long does it stay at nine kilowatt? Okay, start dropping a little bit already. But when do we get the heat pump running? Hmm. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm a noob. I, I totally missed this information. PTC heater is running at seven amps. So you have to be a ninja. Seven amps times 440 volts. That's roughly three something kilowatts, right? And then AC compress, huh, what? This doesn't make any sense. AC compressor is only at 216 watt, huh? What? What the heck does it mean, man? But okay, what is for sure is that we are pulling nine kilowatts. So something is going on right now. It's heating up quickly, so that's good. Um, so I just left, left it out there. We'll see what, oh, 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 you see, we see, oh, sorry, sorry. We see a little bit of defrosting going on there. Okay, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm not sure what's going on with the leaf. We'll see that, that'll be a surprise. Let's see how fast it clears the, the snow here. I also purposely did not run any leaf blower to clear the snow. So <laughs> we're gonna make this as dramatic as possible. Oh, this is a classic. Oh man, sorry, I had to turn out. Yeah, I can't play more, otherwise I get the copyright claim. Uh, that's, that's a good song, man. Ah, look, 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 it started to melt some snow on the side here. So we have some air vents blowing on that side. Well, for some reason, nothing's going on this side. Oh, okay, it's starting a little bit on this side, but here you can see. Ah, I never noticed this. You see, this is a German car. It was designed for German winter. And then here it starts melting a little bit. This, it's been around five, yeah, a little bit over five minutes now since we started heating. But I feel like the heater is not running at full blast. Well, I mean, it is quite powerful, but still the fans are not running too fast. So um, I wonder if I use heat now, it doesn't make any difference because this is the preheating feature. You click it and then it will keep the car heated. Even if you leave the car and lock it, it will keep it heated for the next half an hour. It doesn't seem to make any difference though, but okay, just keep it like that. So also when I go here, um, you see that this one doesn't have the auto with the several settings. I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, huh? Maybe, oh, maybe I need to buy a more expensive package. Okay, because I was looking for the the auto with low, medium, high setting, but it's just one setting here. Hmm. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, no, 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 okay. No, I, I don't know where the heck it is. Uh, do you guys know? Uh, I'm a noob. Uh, the four kilowatt we saw here was not cabin heater power. Um, it was the battery heater. So the battery heater was running at four kilowatts. So you see it's, it's heating up the battery now. Battery inlet, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure how the car Wait, let me listen. How the car heats up the cabin. No, there's, there's no way that the, the heat pump is this silent, right? Maybe they dampen the noise or the vibration, but okay. So it's around four kilowatt or, or something. No, no, sorry, th around three something kilowatt, the battery heater. Yeah, the car probably doesn't want the battery to be at minus 12 degrees. So it wants it to be at zero degrees, right? And then, uh, yeah. Still wonder what the AC compressor is. Maybe it's a dehumidify cabin. I'm not sure. So after 10 minutes, we start seeing something. Here. You see, if I go down, you see, you see, I can see what there, there, there. I can see the camera that that is recording us. What shit? It's just have a little focus problem there. Come on, come on. There, there, there. You see the camera. So technically now you can drive like this. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't drive like this. All right. <laughs> You're gonna lose your driver's license if someone catches you or police catches you. Still have to wait a little bit more or you have to scrape the windows. Uh, yeah. Wait, what, what the heck happened now? Uh, power went to only four kilowatts. It's still running this one, huh? Interesting. Oh, okay, it goes a little bit up and down. Hmm. Oh, I can see the leaf now. But wait a minute, how is the leaf going? I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the, inside there. I don't wanna open this door. Uh, but you can see that the triangle window of the leaf has not been cleared yet. Whereas here, both the triangle window and part of the window here is clear. You can see also on that side, uh, if I can zoom through, that the other side there where I didn't open the door is still covered with snow. Huh? Huh? This is because German electro autos, they are the best. 
Oh, okay. So after around 25 minutes of uh, preheating, uh, the battery heater is down to 2 amp. That's around, uh, I don't know, 800, 900 uh, watts only. So it kicked back a lot on the battery heater. Seems like it wants to, yeah, heat it up to around 0 degrees. Hmm, okay. But, um, wow, I'm a little bit disappointed that even after 25 minutes, we haven't cleared the windscreen yet. Uh, huh. Okay, at one point now, I have to go outside and film a little bit. And also I have to get ready because we're going to leave. In, I mean, we have to, we have an appointment, me and my wife and the baby uh, in around uh, uh, 45 minutes. So we have to get ready. <laughs> but ideally, I should have run this test a little bit later, but then uh, it's going to be dark. It gets dark really early nowadays. So we just have to run it as long as we can now. Yeah, see a little bit more here, what's going on. Um, okay, but at least it's nice and warm in the cabin and everything, uh, the snow, the, the pool. Yeah, well, okay. I was about to say most of it melted. There's still a little bit there on the ground, enough for that on the floor, but uh, all the other stuff here melted. Okay, it's been over half an hour. Uh, the battery heater is still pu pulling around one kilowatt and then, yeah. But let me see. Uh, okay, ooh, ooh, finally the leaf cleared a little bit. Huh, okay, I need to go outside now. So, right, the back here has cleared. Uh, what about the back window? Yeah, okay, that one wasn't too uh, covered, okay. Let me see. What about over here? Oh, wow, look, look at this. Huh? No, 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 shit. The freaking... Ah, oh, man. Heat gate, heat gate. Uh, no, 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 get back there, get back there. Man, this is... Uh, Wait, it says heat now. You're going to just going to do, it's going to reset the timer. Okay, so it okay, so it stopped temporarily and then it started again because uh, it figured out oh preheating is on. But look, look at the difference! Wow, the leaf is just a lot weaker. What the heck is going on in here? Let me just get a feel of what's going on in here, huh? Okay, I mean the, there is heat going on here, but I feel like the comfort in the ID3 is a lot better after over half an hour. Here is, what, what is it? Huh, are you in yet? Are you in yet? Well, heater is running. Man, we have 43 kilometers of range left. <laughs> but look at this, huge difference. Uh, I think I have to stop the test now because I have to go soon, yeah. But okay, let me run it for a little bit more. Okay, unfortunately I have to end the test, but I think this is good enough. So yeah, the classic Ionic is ready here. We have to go on a little appointment. It's actually ultrasound, very important appointment. So here you see the setup. We've been shooting both, wow. <laughs> so that is one win to the ID3. The leaf is, uh, okay, way too slow, man. But okay, so anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.